Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 19th. So this is your daily vibes. We're going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. Um, this reading is not sign specific. It is going to be for somebody. It will not be for every single person that watches it. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is an energy I'm picking up on for the 19th. It could resonate on that day. It could resonate a couple days before. It could resonate at the time that you watch it. Whatever. It may not resonate at all. We're just going to see what comes up. It may or may not be for you. This is just an energy I'm picking up on. What do we have for the 19th? transformation this is the death card so we have the a release we have a major change something is coming to an end okay this is this is a, a major life change so one something is coming to an end and something new is beginning with endings bring new beginnings so somebody is going through a major life transformation a death and a rebirth at this time it's big it's huge so we have an ending here. That is an ending. Completion of something. It's like we're going through a transition. Okay, we're transitioning at this time. Something is ending. Ooh, we have a big opportunity waiting for us. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody has manifested something big. Okay, somebody could be receiving something. Uh, this could be a gift. This is something you can touch. This is something solid, something stable, something long term, something that could really last. This is a this is the opportunity that you could absolutely bank on. So this is receiving something that has a lot of potential to uh, grow, to bring prosperity into your life, um, to bring you security. So we have a, a new golden opportunity being presented. So somebody is receiving something. They're receiving an opportunity. This could even be a reward or a gift or something. Patience. Somebody has been waiting. Somebody has been waiting patiently for the right time. They have. The clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. I feel like the time is almost up. It's time. It's time for this big, huge opportunity that you have manifested to come into fruition. It's time for your new life. It's time for your new beginning. It's time for whatever is meant to go, to go. Time of transition and transformation, change and release. The time is now for healing. To move on to bigger and better things. That's what we got going on here. Somebody is moving on to something bigger and better. And something is ending. Something is ending. What do we have for the 19th?
if somebody's been holding on to a relationship, unfortunately, it's the same old story, right? And they've been, gro been growing resentful with each passing day. Clinging to the memories, clinging to the past. They've been growing more and more and more resentful. They've been holding on to a relationship where there's no growth. There's really no love there. The, the, the glass is empty. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. You can't. The glass is empty. There's nothing in that cup. There's nothing. There's no love. The, both, these cups are empty. Okay? And somebody has been holding on. They've been holding on to it, trying, thinking that their perseverance will pay off, right? Somebody has been wounded, and they've come a long ways. I feel as though we have somebody here that is, you know, perhaps this person is wanting to leave the past behind. This person is, is not, not looking at the past anymore. It looks like this person is looking at this bitter person who is upset. We have somebody here that may want another chance with somebody that they upset. I just got to be honest. This guy is looking at this upset woman. Okay. And he's got this, this wand in his hand. He may be, you know, he may have this vision. He may have this newfound idea, whatever it is, that he, he would like to, you know, communicate with her. He would like to, you know, give it another shot. But she seems pretty bitter. We got somebody here that's pretty, pretty bitter, pretty upset, pretty uh, angry. You know, this woman is probably closed off emotionally. So we, and I'm saying man or woman, you figure that out. It could be vice versa. I go by, by what I see on the card, but you are welcome to switch it up. If I tell you it's a specifically a man, I'll let you know. Most of you already know that. If it's the emperor or the empress, or if I really feel like it's a man or a woman, I will come right out and say it is a man. Okay. Anyway, we just clear that one up. Anyway, we have somebody here that is resentful, who is bitter, who is brash. And we have this person that may be a little fearful, may be a little fearful of this person. Looks like this person is turning their pa turning his back on something. Turning his back on perhaps clinging. Maybe this person is, 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 is getting ready to let go of something. We have somebody here that is, is accepting responsibility trying to do the right thing, has gained a lot of wisdom, has been working on their security, their stability. This guy may be the one that's offering the golden opportunity. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a father. I feel like this is a, a masculine. Okay, I feel like I, I do. I do. I, I do. I just got to be honest with you. I feel like we have somebody here that uh, is going, is, is, has something to offer. And it's going to be giving something. It's going to be making some sort of solid, stable offer or giving a gift to somebody. Could be to his children. Somebody is shutting down a relationship or not focusing on a romance. You know, I'm not focusing on a romantic relationship over here. Ooh. Queen of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Yes, we, we do. This is change. Major change. One chapter is coming to an end. The wheel is spinning. This is the wheel of fate. This is the wheel of destiny. So we have fate and destiny. A fated change in direction. Somebody is giving up. Somebody is giving up putting in effort. God, somebody is giving up putting in effort. I think they're making some sort of choice. This guy, somebody is turning their back on somebody. Somebody is turning their back on somebody and it's making somebody very upset. We got somebody here who's very upset. This could be a very emotional time because we have some major life changes here. So, it's almost like this person doesn't want to give up. This person doesn't want to give up on this other, this person who is upset. I don't want to give up.
I feel like we have somebody that has rejected as well. There's been a rejection. There's, there's been some, this person is looking away. There's been some sort of rejection here. And it looks like somebody is, you know, I, I don't want to give you my love. I don't, I'm not interested in it anymore. So it feels like we have somebody here that is just like, you know, I don't want to put in my effort to a relationship. I don't, I'm not interested. It's like, it's like somebody has lost interest in a relationship. They've lost interest. There's been so much loneliness. There's been so much bitterness. There's been so much resent and confusion that somebody has given up. It's like, I don't even want to be involved. And this person knows it. This person knows that this person has given up. That's for sure. So, yeah, we have somebody has that has changed their direction. It's like, they, yeah, they were clinging to the memories of the past, but I don't know if they are anymore. Maybe there's a new offer. There's a new opportunity coming from somebody that does have something in their hands, that does have something to offer, that could lead to stability and security. This is a very secure, stable individual who is very disciplined and takes control of situations. This person is stable and wise. Emperor. Yeah, this is emperor, stable and wise and mature <laughs> and secure. I mean, very similar attributes here. Mm -hmm. Happiness. This is the sun card. So we have somebody here that is This is a completion. They're completing one chapter of their life and it's like they're leaving the past behind. They're leaving the past behind. Because they see a bigger, better opportunity in front of them. Something that is, it's like gold. It's like a golden opportunity. I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely shutting down emotionally because they see happiness someplace else. They're looking for growth. They're looking for warmth. They're looking for you know, something that vibrates on a higher level. We have somebody here that is taking control. Doing whatever is needed to protect, to protect themselves, to protect their, their children perhaps, or their family as well. I have to, there's somebody could be getting money. Somebody could be getting money from somebody unexpectedly could be it and I don't know I, I, did I say father with this I think I did this is a father this is a masculine I knew it was I knew it was a masculine it's funny that I explained that at the beginning about emperor and empress I knew that was a masculine <laughs> anyhow so yeah we have a I think a, there's a male here that and this is fortune Somebody could be receiving some sort of fortune, okay? I know that sounds too good to be true, but I'm just being honest with you. I mean, this is this is a golden opportunity. This is money, okay? This is money, and this is a wheel of fortune, and, you know, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But somebody could, you know, be notified or something like that that they're going to receive some sort of fortune. I don't know who this is for, but if it's for you, congratulations. Anyhow, um... We have somebody that is turning down an offer of, of, of or not offering love. It's like I'm, I don't love I don't love that. It's not emotionally fulfilling to me. Somebody is shutting down emotionally, not moving in the direction that doesn't make them happy. It's like they're totally shutting down. It's like I'm going in a new direction. That's what I see. I see somebody is choosing to basically let a relationship go that doesn't interest them anymore. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like somebody has is taking destiny in their own hands and they're and they're changing their course. It's like I'm taking control. I'm taking the lead. This guy has made a decision and you can't change it. I think the decision has been made that I am going after happiness. Somebody has been enlightened. It is time for a rebirth. This is rebirth. Both of these. 
okay? We got rebirth here, endings and new beginnings. Something very significant is ending and something new is beginning that is going to lead somebody into a period of extreme happiness. There's probably, it's going to be emotional. This is emotional. There could be some tears, okay? This is tears, okay? Something dropping. This is, it, there could be some tears. Um, it's an emotional time, um... Yep, somebody is going to be receiving a message. This is the Page of Wands. Somebody is going to be receiving a message. Um, somebody has released. Okay, so this is released and this is released. Somebody has opened up. Somebody has let go. Somebody is going to be receiving a message that somebody has let go or somebody is letting go. Somebody is letting go of regrets. Letting go. Letting go of fear. Somebody is shutting down all communication, or they have. Somebody has totally, like, made a cut. Made a cut. I'm not going to put in effort. I'm not going to focus on this. I, I don't even, I'm not interested. We have somebody here that is totally not interested in the same life that they once had. I'm just not there. That kind of thing. Yeah, strength. I saw this card earlier, too. So somebody is finding the strength and the confidence and the courage to gracefully go in a new direction, to go towards happiness. <laughs> this, this is the strength to let go. If you were to look the card up, this is the strength to face your fears and let go. That's what you would find. That's what we got here. Somebody is finding the strength to face their fears and open up and let go of a situation. They're finding their fear, they're finding their strength to face fear, period. To do something that they have never done before. To trust, to believe. She has to trust that that lion is not going to bite her. We have somebody here that is finding their inner strength to face fear and release something that is not emotionally fulfilling. And I feel like it's, it's, it's emotional, but it's also very healing because these are both healing energies. So in the, the somebody has been or they're about to go through a period of intense healing. And it's because they take control. They act with integrity. So I feel like there is a message coming in. There's a message that is going to come through. That somebody has changed their path. They've changed their destiny. This could also be a new suitor coming into your life that is younger than you, perhaps, that is much better suited for you, somebody that is more positive. This is a new adventure that leads you down a new path. This is somebody that could actually lead you down the path to healing. They can help you to heal. We definitely have the wheel is spinning. And whatever is happening is bringing you closer to something that is meant to be. This is destiny. So we have a major life change that is, is, is in the process right now. There's a big, huge reward or there's a blessing or there's a gift coming for facing your fears. And releasing whatever this is so yeah that's what I got I mean I don't feel the need to go any further I just I just feel like you know somebody is is totally 
not putting in any more energy to a relationship that probably has died. The love has died, okay? Whatever. I mean, that's what I see. This is a positive message coming in, though. Somebody is taking a new approach. And they're probably excited. I see excitement here. They're excited for this new adventure. Excited for this new life. So yeah, we have somebody that is letting go. And headed. <laughs> into a much happier state of mind. Put it that way. It's like they regain their strength, they regain their vitality, their self-esteem, their self-worth, their self-confidence. It's like it all comes back because they take back control. But anyway, yeah, that's what I got. I don't need to keep going. Let's get an oracle card. What do you think? We ain't got one of those in a while, even though some of those are oracle cards. Um... So yeah, good news, something, whatever this is, there's good, it's good, it is good, because that wheel of fortune is good. The wheel is spinning in your favor, okay, this change is in your favor. This is good luck. New chapter. And, and the wheel of fortune is also angel protection as well, so, you know, it's, and this is protection as well, so I see, yeah, there's definitely some protection here, it's like... <laughs> Make sure that thing is still recording. Anyway, somebody has been enlightened that it's time to go after happiness. Gotta face my fears and release what doesn't serve me. So yeah, we have a transformation. We have a death. That is death. That is the death card. Endings bring new beginnings. And there is a new beginning. Okay, there is a new beginning here as well. And it's a beautiful one. Okay, where, where, where the health improves. Okay, the health improves. The strength comes back in the flow. We get this one a lot. Everything is smooth sailing. Let go of the shore. Enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. Amazing. Amazing. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control the events of your life. Let the Creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. Like, remember, I said somebody was letting go. I said, I did. But this card is urging you to take a risk and to let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. If there's a situation in your life that isn't falling into place, let it go. It says that. It says that. Let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations in your life or you're being self-critical or judgmental. Let go of control. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others in spirit to support and help you. And it's almost like you are going to be receiving some help from somebody. Something. So yeah, somebody is letting go. And it's, 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 it's really good. It's a really, 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 really good thing. Good luck. 